Mi gente, welcome back aquí a Daily Flash Latino, a new podcast that will bring listeners to the know how to embark on a path to prosperity. That's right, porque let's face it, todos queremos una vida mejor. And joining us now with her hard-won business advice and actionable tips for listeners looking to grow wealth, which is a great thing, is a best-selling author and guru financiera. Le damos la bienvenida to the self-made Nelly Galan. Hola, Nelly. You've had, I mean, thank you for being on the show, number one. Like I We're mentioned earlier. We're proud of you guys. No, we so are proud of you, girl. <laughs> and we're going to talk money, okay? Because you've had claro success sí, in claro business. Sí. You've had success in entertainment. Y ahora con este podcast, te pregunto, ¿qué te inspiró para ser Moneymaker Mi Mundo Rico? Well, you, you guys know that I've been in, in the business for a long time. I think I could be both of your parents. Oh, uh, you know, yo empecé en televisión muy temprano y, y ahora estoy en otra época de mi vida and I realize, what do I want to leave? I have a 22-year-old son. What is the most important thing that keeps me up at night about Latinos? And it's our economic well-being. I don't know if you guys know this, but the last two years were the worst year for Latinos economically in 40 years. Wow. And it's because I think we went through the pandemic. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of money out there for us. There were a lot of opportunities for us and we didn't take advantage of it. And as a mom and as someone who's already become successful, you know, I wrote a book self-made that was really about, you know, financial well-being for my for my women of color and my Latinas. And now I decided the world is into podcasts and it is the perfect medium for me to bring information to all of you in English y en español, how to really go after all this money that's out there, how to take young Latinos like you guys and like my son to the next level, para que no metan la pata, help you so that you can get there quicker than I got there. And I'm, I decided to start, you know, Money Maker and Mi Mundo Rico. Uh, I was lucky that these young, I got to, I've gotten to meet every young entrepreneur in America in the last few years. And these two women entrepreneurs that were starting Money News Network podcast came to me and I said, I want to work with other entrepreneurs. I want to help young entrepreneurs. And I decided to do this podcast with them. And so I'm very excited because this is really for my son and for all of you, everything that I've learned. So you guys don't have to learn from scratch. So ahí yo vi, I know you said que la situación en los últimos dos años ha estado bien crítica para, el, para los latinos económicamente. Sí. Te tengo que preguntar, what do you think would be, I know that like, I'm not asking for the whole thing, pero un summary, danos un summary de que los latinos pueden hacer to start them up para que estén claro. en un buen sitio uh, económicamente. Bueno, yo creo que en este momento no hay mejor momento eh, que para ser emprendedor, right? To be an entrepreneur. Y yo creo que hay plata para los entrepreneurs, I regalias, there's grants for entrepreneurs. So I would say, like, if I had to say to you, if I had to do my whole life over again, what would I tell you all to do? Number one, get a side hustle. Empiecen otro trabajo mientras que tienen un trabajo, ya sea, you know, driving a Lyft, driving an Uber, renting an apartment in your house, uh, selling stuff on Amazon or eBay or whatever. Take that money y guarda ese dinero, guarda, save it. You're saving for a bigger idea. And then start thinking of how you could, you know, I've had two parallel tracks in my life, television and real estate. Yo dije, yo dije in my book, Self Made, don't buy shoes, buy buildings. No se pongan a comprar boberías, compren edificios. <laughs> and had I not had all those buildings, you know, a lot of people, my friends in entertainment go, did you just make way more money than we did? I go, no. While you were buying expensive cars and going on expensive vacations, I live beneath my means and I bought buildings. And now those buildings have made me five times the money than my money in real estate. So for all you young people, I want you to put money away, save it. And then just either, either start a business or invest that money because investing the money is starting an investment business. You've had celebrities on your podcast because they're not, o sea, no. ellos no se salvan de, de, de problemas así económicos. Por ejemplo, no. you can tell us a little bit about Adrian Bailon. Adrian que has to win the show. No. First of all, on my podcast, every week you're going to have two original podcasts. On Wednesdays, I'm going to drop one that's me giving you all my advice, step by step. What would I do? I'm going to give you all the info on what to apply for, what you should pursue. And on Fridays, I'm going to do celebrities, gurus, and then take questions from all of you that are going to send me questions to uh, moneymaker at, at 
moneynewsnetwork.com. And I'm going to bring you the biggest gurus, Susie Orman, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, everybody that I know. I'm going to open my Rolodex and call all my friends that are rich. And we're going to teach you because I want a legacy of wealth building for Latinos. I want us to stop thinking like our parents thought that, ay, la gente buena, no son ricos, los ricos son malos. That's, there are good people that do, the, the, that are rich and good people that are poor. There are bad people that are rich and bad mm -hmm. people that are, that are, you know, good people that are, that are rich. So I want all of you to feel that you could be abundant. Y tú sabes que, todo el mundo que me conoce sabe que I'm not grandiose, I'm not a big spender, I'm none of those things. But I'm a well-off woman and that being well-off has given me choices in life. It's not that money makes you happy. It gives you choices. I know that's right. That's <laughs> well, well, I got to ask, with all that information, where, where can the viewers tune into Money Maker Mi Mundo Rico? Okay, so, donde quiera que hay podcasts, whether it's Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts, go and look up Money Maker Y Mi Mundo Rico. And you can watch it in English. You can watch it in Spanish. The English version awesome. is also subtitled and it's also going to have a transcription para los que hablan español porque yo quiero que los inmigrantes uh -huh. que vienen a este país que han pasado tanto que ahora todos estos países en Latinoamérica se están cayendo yo quiero ayudarlo a entender todo más rápido para que no pasen trabajo como todo muchos de nosotros hemos pasado Oh my God, you know what? I'm going to need your number on speed down, mija, because you are so inspiring. <laughs> no, y tú tienes razón de que en vez de estar comprando zapatos y diferentes cosas así, es como tú dices, hay que invertir, por ejemplo, en lo que es el real estate, que es algo muy importante. Me encanta ese mensaje que tú estás enviando because you're able to, you know, uh, inspire people to become bosses, you know, because I think they train us at okay. school to become employees. No, we want to we be right. bosses. That's why I'm going to have Rich Dad Poor Dad on because he tells you all, like, don't like, don't all think like employees. And it's okay to have a job, but then have a side hustle. You have to have something that is yours, that's your brand, that's mm -hmm. your thing. Y yo lo que creo es que cuando uno es joven, like, you get depressed about something, you have a breakup or something, and you buy lipstick and a pair of shoes y, y la cosa. Y eso no te va a ayudar a comprar un edificio. Y yo lo que creo que you have to think long term. Life is I not so long, long, long term, term that is. Bueno, I mean, we, we could be here all day, yeah. pero de eso fue nada mente. We <laughs> seguimos, pero muchas gracias por estar aquí. We love you, tu girl. Tu talento, you're charismatic, and thank you for all the information you've given us today. Thank no, you. Por favor. I want you all to become money makers. Muchas gracias. Thank Ahí you, te cuida. Chao y muchas gracias.